The Hornets are back in Charlotte, but they'll be looking a little different on the court this season. I'm Antonieta Collins with your ESPN headline. The team has unveiled their new uniforms. And for more on this, let's bring in ESPN sports business reporter Darren Ravel. Darren, so tell us, how did they come up with the new design? Well, they already uh, revealed the colors, Tony. Uh, in November, they said they were kind of going to go back to the, the, the teal and, and purple of the old Charlotte Hornets. And I, and I don't think anyone thought they were going to deviate from that as a retro uniform and as a, you know, as a retro uh, hat and everything that was sold. It was just, they did tremendously well. So really what they changed is they did an updated logo. The NBA required them to do an updated logo because they're still going to sell the retro gear. Um, and what they wanted to do with these uniforms was to not be too loud, um, but at the same time, you know, take the risks in the color scheme that the, that the Hornets did back in the in the 80s uh, that made them so popular. The interesting thing here is that although the NBA has an official apparel deal with Adidas, they went to their competitor, Nike, who of course has the Jordan brand, and Michael Jordan is the owner of the, the, the Charlotte Hornets, uh, to do the design of the jerseys. Now, Adidas is obviously making the jerseys, but the design was done in collaboration with the Jordan brand. Now, Darren, if the team would have wanted to go with their old uniform, why couldn't they have done so? You know, that's a good question. The league basically says that we are still going to sell retro gear, and you don't deserve the right to, uh, you know, make the royalties on something from the past. If you go back to the Hornets, um, you're going to have to make some changes. So they're going to. They don't think the Hornets would be able to get say, a piece of, you, you get what you sell in, in the arena, um, and otherwise it's split, uh, and on your website. But uh, they don't want uh, the Hornets to be able to cash in off the pass and make a disproportionate amount of money off, you know, uh, Muggsy Bogues and Alonzo Mourning mm -hmm. and Larry Johnson and that kind of thing. So they kind of forced them to change a little bit so that they could differentiate between the past and the future. ESPN Sports Business reporter Darren Ravel with the insight. For more on the story, make sure to check it out right here on ESPN.com. I'm Antonieta Collins with your ESPN headline.